Welcome everyone to my channel and today we have a challenge on algebraic expression um, having uh, the highest power of the variable to be uh, 3 and the question says x flux 1 all over x flux x to the power of 2 flux 1 all over x to the power of 2 flux x to the power of 3 flux 1 all over x to the power of 3 equal to 6 what well, then will be the value of x but before we go into today's challenge if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video because here we will try our best to drop new videos every day with that being said let's go into today's challenge so we take down our question solution so all right the question says we have here x flux 1 all over x flux x to the power of 2 flux 1 all over x to the power of 2 flux x to the power of 3 flux 1 all over x to the power of 3 equal to 6. Okay, if we look at this carefully, what we do here is to bring in another alphabet. Okay, so from here, let's say, we can say here, let um, T or U, we can use U, but let's take T, let T is equal to X flux 1 all over X. Okay. If we have this, from there, let's give this equation a particular uh, number. Let's give this equation 1. Or let's give this equation 2, where we'll term this equation 1. Because we'll be making reference to uh, these two equations here. Okay, from equation one, we have gotten the value of x plus one all over x to be t already. We have to get the value of x to the power of two plus one all over x from here, which is equation two. We also have to get the value of x to the power of three plus one all over x from this same equation of uh, two. And so, in that regards, um, to get the first one, if we square equation 2, we're going to get the value of this. And if we cube equation 2, we're going to get the value of this. So let's start by saying here, yeah, square equation 2. Okay, so if we square equation 2, we're going to have this to be t squared equal to x plus 1 all over x r square so we now have this t square equal to x plus um one all over x close bracket into x plus one all over x uh, of course if we open this bracket this is going to give us x squared plus x times one all over x will give us one then we come to this, dx times this will give us flux 1, and dx times this will give us flux 1 all over x squared, which is automatically x squared. We can bring this and this together to give us flux 1 all over x all squared. 1 plus 1 will give us 2. Mind you, we have t down this way, t squared down this way. So if we collect these two to this side, this will give us t squared minus 2 equal to x squared plus 1 all over x squared. So we've gotten this expression from here already. So let's label this guy here equation 3. So if we give this equation 3, we look at equation 2 again. We want to cube equation Two again to get this expression from here. So from here, when I say cube equation two again, okay. want to cube equation two again. So let's proceed from here. We bring down our equation two, which is t minus sorry t equal to x plus 1 all over x. Okay, so this will give us t to the power of 3 equal to x plus 
1 all over x all to the power of 3, which automatically will give us x plus 1 all over x, close bracket, bracket, x plus 1 all over x, close bracket, bracket, x plus 1 all over x. Very easy. Okay, now from here, we've calculated the value for this already. Okay, so since we calculated the value for this from this equation, look at what we have from this. We have the here now. We have the whole of this from our equation uh, 2. So we can equally replace the whole of this, okay, with this here. All right, so if we do that, this we turn gives us here to be x squared plus 1 all over x squared plus 2 bracket bracket x plus 1 all over x. I could as well jump or skip these steps here, okay? But I want you to see the breakdown, how we arrive at each of the steps here. Okay, so we use this to open this bracket, okay? Now, if we go by this, we have x squared times x. This we give our x to the power of 3. x squared multiplied by 1 all over x. This will give us plus x. We come to this term. We use this term to open up everything here again. So 1 all over x squared times x. This will give us plus 1 all over x. Then 1 all over x squared times 1 all over s, this will give us 1 all over x to the power of 3. Then we come to 2. We use 2 to multiply everything here again. So 2 times x here will give us plus 2x. And we use 2 to multiply this to give us here plus 2 all over x. Now, from this, we can link this and this together. So this will now give us x to the power of 3 plus 1 all over x to the power of 3. Power of 3, yeah. Then we can bring this term, this term, and this together. So we now have this to be plus x plus 1 all over x plus 2x plus 2 all over x. Okay? Now, very easy now. If we add everything here together, then here we now give us x to the power of 3 plus 1 all over x to the power of 3. Then plus this, this will give us 3x plus, if we add 1 all over s plus 2 all over s, we give us 3 all over x. Here, this will give us x to the power of 3 plus 1 all over x to the power of 3. Plus, we can factor out 3 from here to give us 3 into x plus 1 all over x, close bracket. All right. We've already said that let s plus 1 all over x equal to t. So, we can bring in t here. And mind you, we are having our t down here. So, we have here t to the power of 3 equal to your x to the power of 3 plus 1 all over x to the power of 3, plus 3t. Collecting light terms, we have this to be t to the power of 3, minus 3t, equal to x to the power of 3, plus 1 all over x to the power of 3. Let's give this equation 4. So we have this to be equation 4. Okay, so we we'll succeeded in getting our x to the power of 3 plus 1 all over x to the power of 3. And we've also gotten this. We've gotten this, okay, from this equation. So we can go ahead and rewrite equation 1. So if we rewrite the whole of equation 1 in terms of t, meaning we're going to say add equation 1, sorry, add equation 2, equation 3, and equation 4 together. So from here, when I say add, Add equation 2, comma, 3, and 4 together. Okay? So if we do that, we proceed from here again. 
the whole of equation one will turn becomes t blocks t squared minus two blocks uh, t to the power of three minus three t equal to six. So if we rearrange this, we give us starting with the one with the highest power t cube blocks t squared then plus t minus 3t will give us minus 2t then bring this 6 to this other side to turn to minus so minus 2 minus 6 will give us minus 8 equal to 0 this is a, a, a polynomial equation okay so let's solve for t using the trial by error method if we go by the trial by error method we discover that 2 will be a, a factor or one of the roots of this polynomial equation. Okay, so I'm um, using, using trial by error method. Trial by error method, t minus 2 is a root. Okay. It's one of the roots. So we have this. We have t to the power of 3 plus t squared minus 2t minus 8. Then we have a t minus 2. Okay. So t into t to the power of 3, we have t squared. t times t will give us t to the power of 3. Use this t squared to multiply this minus 2 this will give us minus 2t squared put this in bracket and subtract if we do this t to the power of 3 minus t to the power of 3 this and this we leave then we have minus times minus will give us plus here so t squared plus 2t squared will give us 3t to the power of 2 bring down the minus 2t here so minus 2t minus 2t we carry out another, the second division again so t into 3t square will give us plus 3t 3t times t will give us here 3t squared 3t times minus 2 will give us minus 6t we subtract again okay so 3t squared minus 3t squared again this and this will leave then minus times minus will give us plus then minus 2t plus 6t will give us 4t we bring the last term which is minus 8 down okay so we use this t again to divide this and so this will give us plus 4 plus 4 times t will give us 4t then plus 4 times minus 2 will give us minus 8 at this point where you subtract we get to have 0 0 we now have a quadratic equation so from our quadratic equation we have this to be this now implies that we have t minus 2 bracket bracket t to the power of 2 plus 3t to oh, plus 4 or equal to 0. Now, this is our quadratic equation. This is one of the roots. If we use the determinant factor to check if this will give us um, a real factor because we are looking for the real uh, root or real factors of our equation. And so let's try the determinant factor, which is root b squared minus 4ac this will give us b is 3 so we have 3 squared minus 4 a is divisible 1 so dot 1 dot and our c is 4 dot 4 and so this will give us here 9 minus 16 and 9 minus 16 automatically will give us here um, minus 7 okay so this root is going to give us imaginary root and we don't need that 
And so we are going to work with only this t minus uh, 2. And so taking only the x, the x now implies t equal to positive 2. But let's go again and recall. We said let t equal to x plus 1 all over x. Recall that t is equal to your x plus 1 all over x. Okay? So, and we've calculated our t to be 2. So, this now implies 2 equals to x plus 1 all over x. So, if we multiply true by x to eliminate this x, this will give us 2x equal to x squared plus 1. And when we rearrange, we'll have this to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So, from here, we solve this quadratically. We can use factorization method. And so, the two number that we give us, what we need here is x squared minus x minus x plus uh, 1 equal to 0. And so, we can put these two in brackets, bracket, bracket, here also bracket. Okay. What is common to both? Here we have here x is common to this. So this will now give us x minus 1 minus, what is common is just 1, bracket, x minus times plus will give us minus 1, close bracket. So the terms we have in the bracket are the same. So we take one of these and take this one that are outside. So this will give us x minus 1, close bracket, x minus 1, equal to 0. And so if we use the uh, zero product uh, rule, this will give us x minus 1 equal to 0 twice. Okay, so therefore we now have our x is equal to 1, positive 1. Okay, positive 1. This is the value of our x. And so let's check if um, uh, this answer satisfies this equation. So check. We put down our equation which is, have your x plus 1 all over x plus x squared plus 1 all over x squared plus x to the power of 3 plus 1 all over x to the power of 3 equal to 6. Wherever we see x, we put down 1 there. So we have here 1 plus 1 all over 1 plus 1 to the power of 2, power of 2, okay, there plus 1 all over 1 to the power of 2, plus 1 to the power of 3, plus 1 all over 1 to the power of 3, equal to 6. Of course, this will give us 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 will give us 6 equal to 6. So, this shows that our answer is correct. Okay, so if you learned something good from this uh, expression, from this challenge, uh, drop it in the comment section. Or you have a better way of solving this, also drop it in the comment section. If you like what is going on in this channel, kindly give our video a thumbs up and also share with family and friend members that need this knowledge. Thank you for always being there. My name is Jix Anemo. In case you thought I forgot my name, no. My name is Thierry Mijix Anemo, okay? I'm your a tutor, okay, on this online mass TV. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.